and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon um, Explores the Sky, Episode 4. By the by, you can press right trigger, whatever, the R, the R button, even though we have CR and ZL now, although not for this game. Um, I don't, actually, do they work? I'm actually, I'm not actually sure. As you can press that and you can actually talk to your partner. Oh, morning, Benjamin. Nope, doesn't identify. Get up already. <coughs> wow, you put that in... Maybe? And three smiles go for miles. Okay, Pokemon. Time to get to work. Hooray. What shall we do today? Oh, you two still start wandering around lost, it seems. Not at all. Well, come with me. Oh. <coughs> what is this? Oh? That's some way to job was from the board on the other side. By the by, you will not be seeing a lot of these because they're a bit annoying. Not really worth it. I mean, I think they get... We'll get to it. Correct. Today we'll have you do a job listed on this side. What's this different from the board on the other side? Take a closer look. Oh, look at this, Benjamin. There are posters up here that show a variety of Pokemon. Wow, they all look sort of cool. Are they famous explorers? Who are these Pokemon, Chet on? The Pokemon posted here are outlaws. They're all shady kids. Speaking of that fugitive coming back. They're all... I don't... Were there ever... I don't think there were outlaw missions in Rescue Team. They're all shady characters and they're wanted for committing crimes. Oh my gosh! They're wanted by the law? Correct. So there are bounties on their heads. In other words, there's cash reward if you capture one. So many aggressive Pokemon around these days that everyone's finding it hard to keep it up with the problem. We're supposed to go catch these outlaws? No way, that's not possible. <laughs> I enjoy your worry about your life being killed. Just joking. That Pokemon out there come in all shades of badness. These Pokemon are completely wicked through and through. And they're also bad Pokemon, they're really petty thieves, so you get evil to naughty and everything in between. Including murderer. It's her serial of the side. Serial types. So I'm sure we can avoid giving you a job catching a super bad Pokemon. <laughs> So I'll go to these posters and pick a Pokemon that looks quick enough for you to bring justice. Um, say some are weak. So bad Pokemon, aren't they? I'm scared of dangerous Pokemon. It's all a part of your training. You'll work through it, I'm sure. Hey, yeah, but I suppose you do need to be prepared to confront a tough opponent. Someone give you two of the facilities. Hey, Badoof. Badoof. Yup, yup. <coughs> you called. Ah, Bidoof! Eyes are the new recruits that joined us. Hey, man, show them around the town. Yes, sir, re, by golly, I'll do just that. Yup, yup. Yeah. Here's Bidoof. He's one of your fellow apprentices. When you pay attention to what Bidoof has to say, follow his orders. Off you go. Oh, shucks, I'm overjoyed. Why's that? I'm gonna have members junior to me. I'm almost so overcome right now. I just blubber with happiness. Well, you all signed on. I was the most recent rookie. <laughs> well, I best show you around. Come with me, please. First things first. Here we have Krogunk. Uh, to tell the truth, I don't have any idea what that Pokemon's up to. He always seems to be fiddling around with a big cauldron back there. It's all a mystery to me, yup, yup. <coughs> over there is the way, the, over this way is the mess hall. When you look on that way, you'll find the crew rooms. And this here leads to the guildmaster's chamber. Next, I'll guide you both around places outside the guild. Please do. That was fast. Thank you for the... And welcome to the crossroads. Welcome to... 
place you'll get to know very well. I hear you can make a record of your venture at that watering hole. <coughs> Usually you make a record of your venture by going to your bed at the guild. Yep, yep. Seems you can make a record of your venture over there too. Golly, it's a handy spot when you want to rec record your adventure frequently. And welcome everyone to Treasure Town. I feel like, I don't know. I mean, again, it's the sort of thing like Super Mystery Dudes, like this game, but more. So I, I, think, I think Treasure Town is my favorite one, obviously. This is, uh, because, again, Pokemon Square doesn't have that much character. <clears throat> well, this has more character in it, I'd say. This and the guide itself. Because, what, you get, like, three characters who ever show up in front of your house? Whereas, I mean, the guild's not necessarily a house, but it is for now. The main square for the local Pokemon. It's called Treasure Town. Oh, they tell you about Treasure Town, too. And over there is Dusk Hill Bank. We can save our money there. And over there is the Electivire Link Shop. It's where you can do things like Link moves together, but... Looks like if Electivire isn't around today. <coughs> He's catching a market. Remember him? Them? <coughs> <coughs> this is our last instance of seeing that purple one. You can buy and sell items here. Rest in peace. And there's Kangaskhan Storage. Items stored here will never be lost. Even though I swear I've had items be lost before. If you have precious items that you can't afford to lose, store them here before you go on an adventure. Those are the basic places that exploration teams visit. You know, except everything down below. I guess that about covers it. You sure know a lot, Yasuri. And that's good to know. Right then, come find me when you're all ready to go. I'll be hand with selecting the right outlaw for you. Yeah, how nice of you, Badoof. Oh, Lee, you're embarrassing me, aw, shucks. We have the guild's upper underground floor for you. Okay, yeah, let's go. Let's see what kinds of items are available. So it's a catch on market. Before we head back, a visit to catch a market is a must. But, what if I don't want to? Mr. Mark isn't over this way. And where is this way? Let's go, Benjamin. We're at the Genshin Market, Benjamin. Welcome to Dust Skull Bank. How may I help? Hehe. <laughs> in fact, did you know that if you fall in a dungeon, half of your money will be spirited away, never to be found again? Hehe. <laughs> Avoid that fate. Hehe. <laughs> By leaving your money in Dust Skull Bank. Then, uh, why is it a dust skull? <laughs> like, Persian made sense. Well, because they've all from me out. Dust skull, not so much. In a dungeon, you'll find your money safe and sound with me. I admit that I may appear rather sinister. <laughs> but don't judge me by my looks. I'm hauntingly honest. <laughs> Leave your money with me. It will rest in peace. <laughs> I guess... Uh, you, uh, you wish to cancel, right? You may, how may I help? Hee -hee. Look forward to your next visit, hee hee. Okay, the power of the analog stick or whatever it is. Expiration teams gather here from all over. Our own team, CG, is one of them. We're a two member expression team. We're Seed on Pidgey. Our team named CG combines our names. So remember it. Hey, 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 you there. You're the new rookies at the guild, aren't you? Hey, hey my name's Corfish. I'm gonna bring us a wiggly to the guild too, hey hey. You don't know what's going on or whatever. You come ask me, you got the hey hey? Eek! Oh my gosh! The new guild recruits! Delighted to meet you! This sounds like Mickey. You can get all sorts of things here, it's quite convenient. Don't build a stock of items and lead your explorations. No, it's supposed to door. Something's written on it. Rare Walk Dojo has collapsed. But it will rise from the rubble again. Yes, the dojo will be resurrected to its former glory. Rare Walk Dojo Sensei. So yeah, and besides, it's gonna be its own series. 
Our exploration team is called Team Tasty. Cool name was set up by my partner Wormble next to me. What do you think? Cool name, am I right? I like these guys. Excuse me, why did I pick the name Team Tasty? Well, uh, um... I think that's how my partner will think of me eventually. Yeesh. Wow, that's sort of... Eh. No. no. I, I need to read the map. All your items need to filled. I guess that's actually true. Move linking and banking services this way. <coughs> oh, you guys. Oh, Zatu's not in. He's probably accidentally getting another group of people almost murdered. Hello there. Welcome to King of Sun's Storage, honey. What would you like to store? You can use L to choose more than one item, or R and L to select everything. There we go. I don't know why that wasn't doing it instantly. Oh, uh, put the items you put chosen storage, okay? Okay, sort of way, you can count on me, honey. Anything else, dear? <coughs> Speak to me in your accent. <coughs> I can sort items that you found in dungeons or that you bought from shops. If you're in a dungeon, some of your items will be lost. Anything that you have put in the storage will be safe. Keep watch over the storage space so anything you leave here will never disappear, even though you swear that happened in blue. If you have any items that you can't bear to lose, be sure to leave them with me. Anything else, dear? Thanks, sweetie. Come again. <coughs> Yo, are you two the new princesses at the guild? Then hello, the name's Vigoroth. I'm no good sin still. Always bursting with energy. Great, <coughs> Great to meet ya. We're team, we're team Ebony. We've traveled and explored all over. My favorite things, darlings. Well, do I ever have an eye for sparklies? I tell my partner that we should seek out flashy bobbles and glamorous glitz. She would always react coolly to my suggestions. She seems not to hear, or she just won't listen. That's aggravating. Here's Anne. Oh yeah. What is this sign? Anyways. <coughs> May we all stand here for... And take a moment of silence for Pelipper's post office. This is maybe where it probably maybe once was going to stand. But then... Because it's like... It's the end, edge of a cliffside. You can see the... Um, a lake. A lake. But it's an ocean, but a lake that spans the entire world. And you. <coughs> yeah. yeah, that. And, um, hmm. it's gone now. If it was ever supposed to be here to begin with. Which I don't think it is, because this place actually has more story in it than you'll come to realize. But anyway, so, moment of silence. We'll never get her mail again by that Migo guy. Anywho. <coughs> Welcome to the kitchen shop. We, the kitchen brothers, have a passion for selling items. <coughs> we use them for your dungeon adventures. Time is imagination and invent new uses for them. Ah, oh, yes, if a ship sell, shop sells out, we'll always have new things to sell in the next day. <coughs> Spend time in dungeon and until we restock. Visit us when you return. You can find our kitchen markets far and wide, even in dungeons. Visit us everywhere. Are we have anything else? Well, feel free to examine my merchandise. You can use owl to choose more than one item. Uh, of course, you're teasing with that reviracy. <coughs> you know what? I'm gonna make the call that this stuff is rarer than reviracy, so. Thanks, please come again. Mr. Sketchilon? <coughs> A little Meryl and Azurel. Welcome, my young friends. Hello, may I buy an apple? Oh, more certainly. Meryl and Azurel bought an apple at Ketchilon Market, in case you couldn't tell. Thank you, Mr. Sketchilon. <coughs> I always imagine these like Freddy Fish and 
Luther. The only reason I know that is because I've been watching it. Ruby Moose stuff. No, thank you, my young friends. You are to be admired. You see, those delightful children are brothers. Neither poor mother has fallen sick, so the youngsters just come and do the shopping for her. Quite remarkable. They're very young, they've stepped up and taken charge. Mrs. Ketchion! Oh, what's the matter? What makes you return in such a rush? Here's an extra apple. We didn't pay for this many. Oh, yes, that young friend's is a gift for me and my brother. Please share it among yourselves and do enjoy. I mean, Apple Woods. I think Apple Woods exists in the last game, and it. Ooh. Really? Hey, thank you, Mr. Ketchion and Mr. Ketchion. But not to worry, my friends. Please do take care on your way home. <coughs> Ouch! Oh. I mean, I guess he picked something up if someone drops it. I don't know, it looks the way that that looks. Just because you can't see him, like, holding it out. <coughs> see him, I guess you can't see me, presumably, holding it out. So it looks like I just stole it. So I was like, oh, that's not nice. We're sorry to bother you. Thank you so much. You gave the apple back to Azuril. But then suddenly... Um, huh? What was that? Dizzy? Or am I... Is my illness coming back? Or not at all. I don't remember this. It was the last weekend. Help! <coughs> Welcome to plot point number one. What was that? Sure heard a shout of help for just now. For help, shout for help for just now. Did that shout come from you? What's the matter? Hey, Zool. What's going on? Hurry home. Yep, I'm coming. Wait up. Are you all right? Yep. We're done with our shopping. Now we've got to look for an item we've lost. Let's get going. Yep, I'm coming. Huh, those little guys are cute. Huh? What's the matter, Benjamin? I'm gonna walk at you. Pardon? I hear a shout for help just then. Up? Uh, no, I didn't hear anything like that. So I catch him, brothers. Did you hear anything strange just a moment ago? No, nothing out of the ordinary. I didn't hear anything odd either. And mods, the Ketchum brothers didn't hear anything strange either. Was it just imagine it, Benjamin? No, I'm positive that I didn't imagine it. I love you heard it. That shout that I heard. H -h Help! There's no mistaking it. That was a zero scream. Uh, are you daydreaming? It's also Benjamin. <coughs> Welcome to Ketchum Wares, where you can find orbs and TMs. Very well, take a look at my merchandise, all chosen with pride. Use L to choose multiple items. They're never gonna... I never used him once. <coughs> like, that's not completely true, but... The amount I can get, guarantee you, between this and my original play of Blue... Rescue team, I keep on mentioning that. Um... <coughs> I've talked to this guy, maybe, or like, actually bought anything from him. Maybe less than, I guess, 20 times, but again, remember, that's over, like, 12 years-ish now. <coughs> so remember, since you need HMs and stuff um, for Red Rescue Team to get, and the, well, the Rescue Team games, to actually get to stuff and actually advance the story, even though it doesn't tell you anything like that, basically. I mean, again, it sort of does, but really it doesn't, if you ask me. Either way. Um, yeah. I, I so other than just searching for keys for that, I barely ever use this store ever. Pokemon moves are the path to ultimate power. Smash walls, fly. So many moves, all dynamic, each elegant in its way. And some moves, obscure and rare, are simply beautiful. so many moves daily. They can be learned from our technical machines, our teams for short. You see, isn't it exciting? It's a stuff of dreams. Why, it gets me so excited that I've taken on a rosy hue. Oh yeah, that's right, because you could actually be green. I never actually thought of that. Why is he purple? 
because he's taken on Rosie Hugh. I do hope that you will shop at our market and visit my other brother and me. <coughs> Sorry, I didn't get time to turn around that way. No. Nope. Thanks, please come again. Benjamin, where shall we go next? Oh, I did not mean to walk up to him. Say, what are they up to? Yay! Thank you. <coughs> Thank you. Please, it's nothing. What's happening? Oh, hi. Some time ago we lost an item that's pretty important to us. I'm looking all over, but we haven't found it yet. Then Mr. Drowsy came along. He says he might have seen our lost item somewhere. He offered to help us look for it. We're so happy about this. Is that right? How nice for you. Thank you, Mr. Drowsy. Oh, please. I'd have to have a cold heart to ignore kids in need. I can't turn a blind eye. Let's be on our way to begin our search. Yep. Yep. Oh. Whoops. Excuse me. And again. Ugh. What's, what is this? That drowsy sure is nice. I admire that. More and more bad Pokemon around? It's hard to do good deeds. It's happening again. Another dizzy spell. And being screamed at dimensionally. If you keep... Oh, okay. If you keep being difficult, it'll mean big trouble for you. H help! That's where that came from. What is this ability? <coughs> what was that? So that surprise face does not look good. It would be nice if those cute little guys found their items soon. Huh? Is anything the matter, Benjamin? You're looking so grim. Huh? You wanna tell me something? What? You had a dizzy spell? You saw Azul being threatened by Drowsy. Do you wanna go rescue Azul right away? <coughs> how so I have a question. Theory time, not really. But um how do you think that my characters saw it? Like, do you see exactly what we saw? Like, do they know they're being observed? I mean, that's not completely false. Uh, give it a year-ish. I guess infinity. <laughs> Anyways. <coughs> like, or did we see it from, like, an angle that wasn't up top or anything like that? Like, I'm just curious how my character experienced that. <coughs> it's, <coughs> it's an emergency. What you described does sound like an emergency, but well, it's not like I don't trust you, Benjamin, but... Just can't believe it. Troll Drowsy seemed to be a sincerely nice Pokemon, didn't he? Yet you believe that I'm human, and I think one of these two is a little bit more outrageous than the other. Unless, unless word spread from my Red Rescue Team escapades. I saw the three of them go off together earlier. Looked like they were having a good time, didn't they? You're yeah, probably just tired, Benjamin. That's because we keep on getting yelled at. That's why you just had a, that bad daydream. Was that it? It was a bad daydream. But to come to think of it, it didn't seem like a bad Pokemon. Anyway, we're only princes, so we can't just run off on our own. Actually, you can. And I'm sort of a <laughs> lame ass. I've never actually done it, but I do believe if you um <coughs> go on a mission, like if you just go to a dungeon and not have a mission... I believe Chat Top chews you out. I think I've seen the cutscene online, but I've never actually done it, as far as I can remember. Maybe once, but and that's how I remember this thing. But he yells at you. Anyway, we're only apprentices, so we can't just go off on our own. Sure, it's a little odd, but we have to focus on our guild work for now. Let's get all set for exploring, then go meet up with Badoof. Should be waiting for us in the guild's upper underground floor. Let's go, Benjamin. Do our guild chores. Once we're ready to go out on our adventure, let's go talk to Bidoof. Should be waiting for us in the guild's upper underground floor. I still have my money, because I wasn't sure whether they would have a virus. <coughs> to be fair, I wasn't sure if I could sell my stuff, and I know the stuff in my bank is enough. Hopefully, you need that 2,000. But first.
We can't take any due turns. The guild's work to do now. And it's waiting at the guild. We have to hurry. So, by the by, yes. You can actually access Beach's Beach Cave by just walking in there. Does she say anything if I do it again? I expected her to get, like, progressively angrier at me. We just guild 10 rules for exploration teams. 1. Don't shirk work. 2. Run away and pay. 3. Smiles go for miles. 4. Want to put a job on your team's list? Uh, I see why they don't say this in the morning briefing. Team's list and use take job. That stuff can't that step can't be missed. 5. You stock your supplies and rations before running out on expression. 6. We explore trying to think about the moves you should link. Seven. While well, exploring, don't you panic. Stay calm, cool, and calm. Never manic. Eight. Helping all Pokemon in need is an explorer's duty indeed. Nine. Do lots of jobs. That's truly the key. You'll reach gold rank. Just wait and see. Ten. When you earn is shared with the guild. That's the way our friendship will build. Welcome, Wiggly Dust Guild. No salespeople, no agents, no survey takers. Wearing isn't for us. So many Pokemon in each. Just look at all these boards. We have to help them. We're Team Glee. We're the expression team that delivers happiness. Say, Benjamin. Anyone wants to do any jobs on the job bulletin board? <coughs> We're supposed to check the jobs on the Outlaw Notice board, right? Where to go do a job, we have to tell Badoof by the Outlaw Notice board. Obviously. Look, I just wanted to collect on jobs. Who knows, maybe there's like new areas I can explore. Oh? Huh? Are your folks all set and ready for some exploring? I guess. Oh, yes sir, Ray. Where can you all are all ready? Whatever. Then let's pick... Golly. Then let's pick ourselves a lawbreaker for you to find. Well, you got your pick of uh, this sort of bunch of characters. Let's see, what should we pick? Ahem. Can you how how bad I do choosing? Please don't pick anyone scary. Yes, sir, I hear you. Let's get, let's see, eeny meeny. Alarm. Stand clear, updating lists. Listen. Stand clear, updating listings. What's that? What's happening? No, the natural disasters, they've come for us. Oh, the data's being updated. Updated. It's being updated? Oh. Next, do you see that? Panel flipped over. What's going on here? The outlaw notice board and job bulletin board are set up on revolving panels. The panel is flipped over. The woman named the trio swaps with the old jobs with the new ones. Seems bad. Seems sorrowful for all those Pokemon who now die because they'll never have their job mission actually succeeded. So, I mean, <coughs> well, because here's the thing. I, I'm assuming that there's no other guild out there or anything like that. I guess we retired from rescue team. Um, even though this would have been upper alley, although not this stuff. Anyways, um, so assuming, and it's not like, oh, don't worry, those other jobs will be held by other Pokemon. Well, they're not because they're being taken off the listing. So that means that other Pokemon have obviously not taken them. So I need to get a drink of water. But doing all these voices while sick is eating my throat up. The trio. <coughs> I've seen Tacy. Updating data is the trio's duty. He tunnels his way to a guild. Laughs at them. Then he flips the panel and updates the data. And his duty doesn't get noticed much, but it's very important. Yup, yup. That's why Dark Trio takes such great pride in the duty he does. You haven't noticed they actually were like, eh, let's stop playing coy with uh, genders and stuff. Let's actually call them genders. Oh, is that so? Update completed. Stand clear. Updated completed. Stand clear. 
Oh, looks like he's done. Yes, sir, the data is updated. It oh, has been refreshed, so let's pick one. What's wrong with you? Huh? It's ailing you. Why are you shivering all of a sudden? It's not cold here, after all. P -p Please look at this, Benjamin. At the top, on the left. Drowsy! It's Drowsy! He's a wanted criminal! Get to hurry, Zero will be in trouble. But we didn't even take the job! Huh? No, what's going on? Where are you all off to? Oh, Meryl's over there! Meryl, yeah, what's the matter? Where are Zuo and Drowsy? Yes, about them! We all left, we went looking for a lost sign together, but I went up all alone when Mr. Drowsy went somewhere to the Zuo. I called and called, but they didn't come back. I got scared. So which way did they go? That way! Boy, what a very bristly place. So you think that Drowsy and Azul went off in this direction? Yes. Oh, Benjamin, that drow the Drowsy and Azul you saw in your dream. So you saw the mountainous place, didn't you? I didn't say anything. But I, I nodded my head. Sort of. You know, like, bowed before the chin. Whatever. I think they're up ahead here. Let's get going, Benjamin. On to the third dungeon of the game. And probably the first one you're liable to get killed on. Oh yeah, that reminds me, when you get into a boss battle, I don't know, I mean you probably noticed this with Zubat and all that crew. But oh boy, I've never actually used oh no. You guys have karate chop, don't you? You have fighting type moves. I've never actually got Eevee to this point. Okay, this is getting ridiculous. <coughs> oh god. This should hopefully- oh yeah, by the way. Let's use the power of the stylus for a little bit of time. like beeping. Yeah, if you get lost, if you get like unlucky going the wrong way or anything like that, um, you're also liable to use your first apple here. See, here's the thing that I am very much worried about. Good. I'm not being leveled up enough. We're level 8. HP went up 3. Two, 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 two. And she also level up. I'm not used to people leveling up at the same time. <coughs> I'm learning a move, move, but I must forget an old one. Um, you know what? I'm actually gonna be okay with that. Sente, did it, leveled up. <coughs> two, one, 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 one. Uh, thanks, I guess. That was not an intentional. God. Again, like last game, don't go super fast. Anyways, what did you get? Well, obviously, same attack, but. Sorry, your accuracy by one level. No, it's not that accurate, which is good for me! Well, no. It's bad for the enemy and bad for me, I guess. Uh, you know, it's good for me that it has a fairly decently lowish accuracy. Not with experience. I don't think there's gonna be anything capable of insta killing her. But again, I don't actually know that for sure. Heck, to be fair, I don't actually have a hundred percent proof. Oh, this is my first apple. Yeah. An apple or gummy fills your belly. Eat one if you're about to faint from hunger. So find out items and select eat. <coughs> well, 
the way, the only times that'll end an episode that I'm gonna try my better at not ending episodes in the middle of dungeons. But um, so it's weird seeing this on technically um four screens right now because you know it's dual screen two things. Does anyone call it the Nintendo dual screen? Because I'm pretty sure that's what DS stands for. Cherry berry, not that. But then I have it on my main, on my laptop, and then on my secondary monitor I have OBS with an open so. Cherry berry heals paralysis. Menu with X and select an inventory and select E. Right. Jeez, she's actually quite a bit stronger than me. I guess that's why you're only getting plus ones and stuff. Yeah, she even has better health than me. Anyways, you can be as frivolous as you want with moves because... Okay, I didn't finish what I was saying with ending the levels and stuff. <coughs> Basically, if it's like, would you like to save your game or it's a Kangaskhan rock, those are when I'm going to try and end stuff. Because otherwise, I'm not going to be doing that. Why don't you just love it? Okay. You know what? I wish that didn't happen. Oh, interesting. This is Nina Rana female. And this is an odd floor. I know Nina Rana can only be female, but still. It's weird that they um, dignify it with. Uh, oh dear. No. Okay, so this is our first instance of the deadly mystery dungeon fury attacks. In this game, of course. Yeah, I'm gonna end the stuff on me there. So yeah, basically longer videos. And, um... Such as this one. The last one, all of them. Revive! Oh my goodness! It has begun. My empire of revivers seeds has begun. Uh, 18. Yeah, see this? You can actually choose who gets what. No. Special attack and defense. Wait, why is she so much stronger than me? Um, no, yeah. Why is she doing so much more damage than me, yet... I need the defense. That was special attack. Oh, that's right, I'm supposed to be cursing less because apparently one curse basically lands you in um, demonetization land. Oh, oh. That might be a bit much. Thank you. Because we're in critical hit danger. Anyways, don't worry about anything. If, in case there's, I don't know, possibly a boss battle. Okay, how close are we to a level up? Too close. I'm just gonna get that level up. Yep, that should do us both. Nine, three, two, 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 two. Level 9. Hold up, I can tough it out. She's different now. HP went up 2. 1, 1. 1, 1. We do not worry about your health and all that stuff. Okay, uh, and I actually have a reviver seat now. Because Mount Bristle is not actually done yet. Oh, for Sun Seed, I was like, second reviver seed? Ooh, goody. Throw a Sun Seed at an enemy to stun it, making it unable to act until it is attacked. You are eating it will stun you. Ah, yes. 
ability to do sticks now on our side. Not as effective as I expected. Because remember, sticks used to be like the bee's knees. Whatever that means. Um, yeah, Geo Pebbles are doing more. I mean, it might, I, it might be because we're getting sticks super early in the game. I don't know, did they switch it? Because remember, how it goes in the Mystery Dungeon game for what it to blah. In the Rescue Team games? Again, referencing those. Um, but it was a prequel. Um, remember that it went Iron Thorn, then Silver Spike, then Stick as the most powerful stuff. Apparently, that is not the case anymore. Mount Bristle Peak. <coughs> oh shit, that's where we had the scream. Uh oh, it's a dead end. Hey, Mr. Drowsy, where's my lost item? Show me where the item is now. Sorry, kiddo. Lost item? It's not here, that's for sure. Huh? My big brother. Big brother's following us, right? He's coming soon? Nope. Big brother's not coming. <coughs> I'll let you know a little secret. This is all a trick. I deceived you. Huh? Well, let's not dwell on that. There's a little favor on you ask. That hole behind you? <coughs> well, there was a rumor that there's a trove of thief treasure inside there. But, as you can see, I'm too big to squirm my way through that hole. And that's where you come in. Don't worry, just do as I say. And then I'll help you get back out of there. But, but, <coughs> go on, get going. Into that hole. Forget to bring back that treasure. Oh, my big brother! Hey, hey, stop that! <clears throat> Jeez, I said they'll take you home when you're done. We never will mean big trouble for you. H help! Stop right there. This thing is not intimidating at all. <clears throat> I won't let you do that. Drazzy, you bully! How did you find this place? We're a team to save all. Exploration team. No criminal, criminal can escape us. If you're not, no criminal has escaped us. Exploration team, you came to apprehend... Huh? Are you trembling? Ah, I figured it out. So you're an exploration team, but you're total rookies. <laughs> That's right, I don't want a Pokemon with a bounty on my head. But can you two do the job? Can you confront this outlaw and bring him to justice? <laughs> Yeah, yes, we can. Yes, we can. We'd never to lose to a bad guy like you. Uh huh. I've huh. been chased by all sorts of exploration teams in my day. I'm never a sorrier looking bunch than you two. Eh. This should be a laugh. Let's see if you can take me down. Show me what you've got. It begins. By the by, that does not work anymore. And it eats my spring orb. By the way, I fully knew about that. Also, why did you not... Oh my goodness. She didn't help me hand me. <coughs> I do believe flail is stronger. I do believe the bite is even stronger though. That is not good. And we needed that virus seed almost immediately. Okay. I mean, I guess that's fair. I got a virus seed in the dungeon. I lost a virus seed in the dungeon. Rah! We're here to rescue you. Are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? I'm okay. Great, what a relief. But, but that treasure. Big Brother's wing. Let's go home. Okay. I am Magnazone, the primary officer in this region. Z -z 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 -z. Thanks to you, you've been able to arrest the wanted outlaws. Z -z -z -z. Z -z -z. We owe you great thanks for your cooperation. Z -z -z. Z -z -z. <coughs> we will send the reward to your guild. Thanks to you again. Z -z -z -z. 
Zzzt. Now come with us. Zzzt. Aww. Oh, I guess the reason they're magnets and all that stuff is because they can shock him if he tries to run away. Azubril! Meryl! Ah, Meryl! So scary! You okay, Azubril? Are you hurt? He's fine. The little guy's not hurt in any way. How? Okay, how the hell did they get through that dungeon unscathed then? Really? That's a relief. Oh, Zuro, Zuro. I'm truly happy for you two. You did this for all for us, Umbra and Benjamin. Don't forget what you did for us. Thank you so much. Alright, Zuro, you too. Yep. Thank you very much. <coughs> thank you for rescuing me. Ready? R really, really, thank you. Team Federation has sent a message. Your team was rewarded with an enlarged treasure bag. And I carry more arms than you could before. Wait. Is there one more message? No. I mean, I'm not saying no, like, no, I am, sort of. But, um, so, that is now an applicable thing in DLC. Now I'm recording this way, way, way out of schedule. But, um, so this is, I'm gonna have to fight to not accidentally upload this at any time. <clears throat> but anyways, yeah. So, uh, the special episode, Bidoof's Wish, which is getting its own, like, specific thing in DLC and such. Been unlocked. Hey, special episode, select it from the episode list on the top menu. If you want to play this special episode, save your adventure progress, and return to the top menu. I mean, I assume I'm gonna get more of this. <coughs> um, because you, I don't know, I want to get more Revivor Seeds for that. Now the bounty from Officer Magnazone for the captured outlaw. Well done, you two. Here's your share for the job. It's yours to keep. I received 3,000... Benjamin's team received the 3,000 poke... <coughs> <coughs> bounty that was on the head of the captured outlaw. However, because 2,700 poker that is the guild share, portion was withheld. As a result, Benjamin's team received only the remaining 300 poke! Exclamation mark. No way, this is all we get for all our effort. But of course, it's all part of the training. And we expect just as much effort tomorrow. Hehe. <laughs> Ugh. It'd be nice if they gave us a slightly bigger share of the reward. Like maybe 20%, even 15. I'll take even 11. But not 9. But that's alright. We managed to rescue Azul. That's all thanks to you, Benjamin. Because you had that dream, Benjamin. We learned about Azuril's trouble in advance. It's true. Can't explain it, but... First shot I heard from Azuril? Help! And that dream I had? If you keep being difficult, it'll mean big trouble for you. Help! Both of these events, they took place in the future. I was able to see something like that. What was that dream about? By the way, that's a belly noise. Uh-oh, my stomach growled. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. These games, for whatever reason, like making, like, hunger and star hunger jokes. <laughs> my stomach growled too, Benjamin. So you must be famished. So focused on rescuing Azul that I didn't notice at all. Now I'm even hungrier. Well, let's get dinner, Benjamin. This person who's usually hungry most of the time. Because I... Okay, I don't have a... Well, I do sort of have a huge appetite. Oh, yeah. Should I be Crunch Munch Choo Choo Snuffle Snurp? Crunch Munch Choo Choo Snuffle Snurp? I get... I don't know. I mean, I've done... Oh! It was even longer than I expected. Oh, shit. It's a second storm. What, like only four days after the last one? Wow. That line is intense. It's, like it's really stormy tonight. Good thing we're not wherever you stayed before. <coughs> that reminds me. And the night before we met, Benjamin, it was storming that night. I found you out cold on the beach the day after that stormy night, Benjamin. Do you remember anything about being out cold on the beach? Can you remember anything at all? I wonder. Hmm. Huh. It was a storm, but how did I end up unconscious there? Wait, so we remember the storm? 
Hmm. As relates to that random bunch of dialogue and during the storm. <coughs> nope. Can't remember a thing. Guess it won't be that easy. Ah, that's alright. Just try remembering a little at a time. To get up early again tomorrow. Let's get some sleep. Or not at all. Say, Benjamin. Are you still awake, Benjamin? I've been thinking about it since it happened. That strange dream you had, Benjamin. It has to do with your purse with you personally, Benjamin. How many times can she say Benjamin? Huh? I can't quite say what. Okay, I'm never sure. Is my character actually speaking? Or is he just, like, mentally monologuing? I sure don't know any, any other Ryu that who dreams about the future. I've never heard of humans suddenly turning into a Pokemon either. That's why I think those two events are connected. It's a feeling I keep getting. The key to unlocking my memory. Was it in that dream? But even if that were true, how does that relate to anything else? I don't know what you were like as a human, Benjamin. You must have been a good person. Troll Benjamin. It's your dream that helped us catch that bad Pokemon. Bad Pokemon, huh? Oh, that reminds me of what Chatot said. The growing number of bad Pokemon has been caused by time going out of whack. You know, I was getting... How convenient. Okay, okay, I'm 99% sure now that I'm actually speaking to her. Not just thinking it. Because <coughs> that is very convenient for her to suddenly start talking about time. Time's getting messed up bit by bit all over the world. One seems to know why. And believes that the time gears are somewhere involved. Huh? Time gears? They say time gears are hidden in secret places around the world. Like in a forest. Or at a lake in an underground cavern. I even heard that there's a hidden altar inside a volcano. I wish we could go there. At the center of such places... By the way, this is some of my favorite music. There's what's known as a time gear. Time gears serve a very important function. Which protects time and keeps time flowing properly in its region. <coughs> well, if it's one steals something. It seems like a very unsecure way. Oh. Huh. Then it tells me my question's gonna be, yep, answered. But what happens if region loses its time gear? I don't really know the answer to that question. <coughs> My guess is that if a time gear is removed from a region, the time that region will probably stop too. Why even want to make sure never to disturb the time gears? There's long been certain that some kind of disaster would strike. Everyone stays away from the time gears and doesn't tamper with them. It was harmed in criminal criminal Pokemon note to avoid messing with them. Do my eyes deceive me? Could it be? Yes, it is. Not this girl. I finally found it. Time gear. But it is only the first of many. The intrigue. The next morning. Up and at him. It's morning. Oh, good morning, Vendron. Yes, and I would also like to save and return to the top menu screen. Oh, you can actually rename it. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> That's what it is. <coughs> oh, just in case you didn't know this, because it doesn't actually tell you in that um, controls up there. <coughs> Hold down left, I guess, um, X play or whatever. Zoom over that Grovile thing, uh, save it, expand it, and you got a new wallpaper for you. Um, but yeah, if you hold down the L button, um, you get to see the wallpapers on the bottom screen. 
Or in this case, in this let's play, the only screen you'll care about. Whereas for Ultimate, it'll be the screen you like don't care about. Which actually I'm thinking about. Oh no. <sighs> Guess here's the thing. I'm debating with myself whether I want it to do this. You can't see that, right? Do that. Which actually, you know what? I think I will. Eh, not for this at all. But, um. For Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, I think I'm going to do that because it's literally just the map. I will quickly change that during, like, when that bottom screen is not, like, ignoring a bull. But other than that, just for, like, normal hunts and stuff, I'm going to put it like that. Not that that really matters because you probably already saw Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. Because, yeah, I'm sort of recording this way, way future because this comes after Breath of the Wild, I believe, and, um, the game's not short, it's being recorded on the 18th of September, by the by, and, um, so, mostly just because I really actually wanted to play this game, and now I've played it, and now I want to play more of it, but, it's 11-12, so, Walt Twister. You didn't see the little menu at all. Wonderful. Thanks, OBS. I was actually sort of worried. Turns out you were actually doing VLC stuff. Because <coughs> actually, because there was going to be an episode, well, uh, like an update thing, that was going to show like a bit of Ocarina of Time 3D. And expect that in like two years. And um, I was just going to be like, hey, I can record 3DS footage. I'm sort of glad I didn't upload that because I would have had to find a way to put sound on it and I didn't know that this actually, this wonderful baby, um, gives, um, out sound output. Anywho, I do believe that's going to be it for this episode, so if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. See ya.